getting more notes. Because they use, like Mario, they used really bright, non-detailed polygons for like the bare nose and the eyes and stuff. And then you've got the, uh, like the textures, which could be muddy, you put that on the tree bark and then that on the wall. And it actually gives this illusion of more detail, even though it's muddy. Whereas if you had, you had like a texture from a face, it would not look so great. But it's a pretty smart way to do it. The notes are a flat two-dimensional sprite that they sort of rotate, as opposed to being a 3D image. Forksty! He goes into the shell, but when you go in, he's not there. He's not there. It's really psychedelic in here. I feel like I'm in some stoned teenager's room. We just figured out how to do tie-dye. Yeah, I'm only 16, but I like the Grateful Dead. People say I like old music. I guess I'm an old soul. Motherfucker! My theory was that people have a lot of really good memories of this game. One, because it was old and nostalgic and it was one of the best games on the N64. A console that had a dozen of games. But my other theory was that people really liked this game because nobody ever beat it. Because they probably got to the early hard levels and then they just stopped playing. And it wasn't as expected for people to beat games back then. You just kind of played until you had enough. Or you just played forever because you had so much time with the game. Because there were not that many other games to play and maybe you were a kid, so... It's not like you're doing your taxes. Or looking after another child. Or being weird to your girlfriend. Feels like a theme park? Yeah. That's Oh, is that why you like Mario Sunshine then? They're very, they're very similar. Similar in that aspect of... Go visit the theme park. Jump on the boxes. Yeah, it kind of feels like, uh, like a playground. Wahoo! But a playground for, like, slow children. There's boxes! You can stand on! Ooh. The, har the hardest thing in the game is just walking down thin, thin pathways. Thin neural pathways. Why are they so thin? Because I'm so fat, I squeezed up my neural pathways to make them thin. Interesting, huh? So if I'm thin, will I have thick neural pathways? That's right, Skinny Pete! What am I rating this? What would I rate this game? That's a very interesting question. I will rate it based on the time that it came out, sort of. I mean, I can't possibly be of that mindset because it's 2021. But I will try to consider its age. I'd say this game is a real strong 7. I was thinking the same thing. 7 or 8. Like... Definitely a, definitely a strong, solid 7. Because it has a lot of parts that just feel like bullshit. But, but the parts that are good are, are pretty strong. And you can kind of... And you can get through and just... That was 2043? In 2043, this game is, is even better. Because then we probably won't even have... We'll have... Games will just be like all story bullshit. Artificial reality VR neural link. Use the initial jump off pad to hit the ground below. That's true. Every once in a while, this game gets way more clever than you think. Away! That's awesome. I know I shaved. Thank you for that, Quirky. That's a really cool concept. Jump first, and then again. So there's a lot of creative stuff like that that's pretty interesting. One of the best things physics-wise is the way he goes into the water. Like this. Oh, doesn't that just look so perfect in the sound of it and everything? One more time. I'll crank up the volume. Woo! Perfect. This is another reason why the game is so popular. We must find more notes. 
the new Switch specs have been revealed. And it's funny because Nintendo doesn't talk a lot about what they're doing. And then everyone fills in the blanks. And the Nintendo kind of like news people, the Nintendo people who just make a living making videos and articles hyping up everything Nintendo does, they just assume stuff and they go, it's going to be a new CPU, new RAM, it's going to be more powerful than ever, you're going to have 4K, they're going to use DDD, SSSL, DDDD, NVIDIA, Magic. There's going to be actual magicians have been working on this game. And it can do card tricks. That's going to be so good. And then they say, here it is. It has no upgraded CPU or RAM. It's got an OLED screen. And it's going to use less battery, which is good. The screen's going to be a little bit bigger. And that's it. Still 720p on the tablet, which I've never noticed being bad. I think because it's, when the screen's that small, 720 is awesome. I actually think that the, the games usually look better in um, tablet mode. I find when the, when the game goes into the, especially the UI on the TV, it looks worse. What's going on? Mine? Water? Fuck! Anyways, I, I might get one just because I like... I get a lot of glare on mine, so if the glare on the screen is better, maybe like high brightness, contrast, the battery lasts longer, it would be worth upgrading. Is it going to be much more? Is it like going to be $50 more than the regular one? Or are they not going to sell the older one anymore? Is there more health in this level? But actually, another reason I wouldn't mind upgrading is... Sure, yeah, Breath of the Wild packing was there. Also, if I can sell off my Switch and get a decent price for it, I just feel like the Switch is... It's a nice piece of hardware, but I do feel like the shoulder buttons and, like, Joy-Cons, they're kind of built to fail. So I wouldn't mind getting rid of mine. Just kind of re-upping to something uh, newer. Jesus. Lord Murphy. H. Helga. Ultraman. You are a crocodile. Yeah, for I mean for Switch games, Super Monkey Ball compilation. I'm interested in that. The new WarioWare game. Steam Pal could be a huge competitor for it. It'll be really fun to see what they do. Oh yeah, what is the transformation here? Where am I going? What am I doing? What is the point of this? There you go, this is the point. Time's up, sucker! The frog is murdering me. Same song. I am a love hotel for dragonflies. Come on, baby, I know a place we can sit for a minute. No, I don't want to. People are going to see. Oh my god, he's looking right at us. You're so bad. You're so bad. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, baby, you know I'm the dragon for you. I like when the boots run out and he goes, Oh! You got a praying mantis that lives in one of your pepper plants? Oh, that's cool. And then he, he's your guard of your pepper plants? Eats in the insects that come near. That's so cool. What a beautiful species. They take a lot of very classical, historic, like folk songs. What will you become? My sweetest bear? Oh my god, I'm a friggin... Crocodile? <laughs> I 
alligator skin boots. That's funny. Feels good. What can he do? He can go in the water. This game has 154 tracks. But some of the tracks are just like doop a doop a doop bum ba. Can you hear that fucking bird outside? That is the common grackle. An annoying species of bird that steals from other birds. They eat bugs, they eat eggs, they eat uh, grain, they pull up the corn before the farmers, before it's like actually sprouted and is edible. Farmers hate them. This one has about five kids and it teaches them to fly around our house from tree to tree and they just, they chase my cat around. They chase crows. And all they do is go chuck, 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 chuck. Chuck, 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 chuck. And it never stops. Uminaka, uminaka. The common grackle. Horrible birds. They don't pick up the dogs when they're walking them. Gross. You just passed your best note score for this world! Pretty cute. Cute sound. Oh, he's got four little fast sneakers. That's funny. What's this level all about? Hey, we're friends. I we can speak. Crocodile. Hurr, <laughs> I'm Mr. Vile. The greediest crocodile. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or B to chicken out. Game is simple. Eat more red yumblies than me. Ready? How to eat yumblies? Um. Oh, shit. I should just stay, like, right in front of him. Steal all the yumblies. Yumblies, yumblies, red, 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 yumblies, red, yumblies, red, 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 yumblies, red, 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 yumblies. It's very slippery. It's come skating. Do they move on eventually? Um, yeah, they do, I think, once their kids are born, they, they move on. Thank God. They like to perch right outside my door here. And they know me, because when, when he sees me, he runs away. Because I used to grab, like, small handfuls of gravel and just sort of throw it up near the tree to spook him. You only win. Easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. I'm gonna beat your fucking ass. Because you're a stupid crocodile. And you may think I'm a crocodile, but I have the brains of a human. Hey, there's no grumblies out here. Arr, arr. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Nice. Shit. Get that, get those, get those, yeah. Gimme that. Gimme that. Ah, oh, yeah! It's actually a pretty fun little side game. Yumblies. Yumbly mumblies. Oh my god, he beat me by one. What a dick. I'm a fool. Oh, Mr. Violin's easy. Here I come, Greeny. What? And he tries to murder me? Oh. Just realized that staples means the staples of business. Not just staples. They are very smart. That's why they've been in business for so long. And why they'll continue to sell staples. And staples. And staples are a staple of, of business staples.
the eggs are my food, damn it. I just died again collecting notes. Is this game worth beating? Is it worth beating? I don't know. I don't know anymore. The thing about having a conversation with a neural link is when I'm having a conversation with people, strange thoughts enter my mind. Things that I would not want to say. So if you're talking to somebody, I don't know, like a woman or whatever, I don't want them to know what I'm thinking. I could be thinking terrible words and thoughts. Not even ones I mean or... Oh my god, look at this TNT orgy gangbang. Abroad! Yeah. Yeah, that's true, actually. Because the, cause the way they think about... Uh, there's a lot of mental conditions that they're just understanding now. They're still just discovering. People getting tired of the prices and the fires. The prices are really bad and there's fires. That sounds like why people would move out of, um, like, an escape from New York or L.A. Well, you know, we're mostly tired of the real estate prices. And the gangs, and the fires, and the roaming packs of mutant dogs. This is much more suitable music for this game. It's the music this game deserves. I need to be on guard. I need to be on my, on my toes. I need to be ready. You're right, I need to go get more notes in the anchor. I kind of feel like, uh, it's like Indiana Jones music. You don't expect it, but they care about making things feel realistic in this game. There are there are staff and sailors. The um, to stop those propellers. You have to stop these um, actual turbines. They're like real working turbines that go through and stick out and connect to those propellers. Fascinating uh, choice. I didn't think Banjo Kazooie worlds were gonna feel lived in. Even the ship having its name, the rust bucket, on the back and what, what, where it calls its home port. It's like, so oddly realistic. Isn't that creepy how that egg moves in the top right? like oh it wants to get out it's it's almost ready to be born and what do i do i just go blam i just shoot it i shoot it and it dies Oof. crush another life gone boom oh no save it save it oh another life gone one more but it's like a balut you have 31 balutes Delicious. When my friend from Uruguay, you know the country, was teaching me Spanish, he'd, he'd say, uh, I'd say, okay, how do you say first and second? Primera, segunda. And I go, okay, man. Primera, segunda. Yes, but now don't say it in a Mexican accent. It's not necessary. He was a real ladies' man. And then she gave me a blue job. I'd always get one. And he'd be disappointed that that's all he got. It's like, wow. You are the best. Yes. You have the high standards. Manuel Contreras. 
Good guy. Played a hell of a piano. He knew how to play tango. <laughs> His grandfather was a wonderful tango dancer. And we would sometimes do tangos with just very non-tango songs. Just because people wanted to dance to them, so we'd go, oh, all right, well, we'll just play like um, some pop song as a tango. And he'd play it and then go, if oh, my grandfather heard that, he would slap me and then give me a blowjob. Yes, <laughs> I always get one. <laughs> you, you are a Guyan one. It's very good. I don't know where there's more. Uh, where are the 46 other ones hiding? In the rooms. But of course. What? Oh, this one lets you get up here. Fuck you, you fucking asshole. No. That's actually what's been slowing me down. Is not using save states. Good egg collection spot. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Another, there's got to be a big spot, yeah, like going in the anchor hole or something. If I could just get another, like, 10 or 15. Because this is about the... There's a cut. There's a, one more level where I have less than fifty. There might be some windows or something you can bang. That's what they're they're big on in this game. So they like you to go into the holes. I don't know if I've actually been in this one. And the cool thing about that room is there's this glass, so you can see it when you're in the other room. And you know that there must be a way, and it's actually all lined up. So I'd say the architecture of these levels is super impressive. Look, there's a big cargo hold there. That's where they put all their boxes. Even like the stuff you're sitting on, they're boxes full of goods. It's not just... The thing with Mario is it does feel like the levels are not... They're not real. They're just geometric shapes, you know, in places. Or Banjo, it's like, no, everything would be here. And that's what you're going to be jumping on. Why don't you go down this little exhaust pipe? Into the... Oh, I've already been in this one. Is possible to go through? No. Is possible? Oh, way, 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 way. And a freaking jiggy. Oh. Ah, yeehaw! And now we're gonna go to Cancun, Bangkok. Safe stay. Thank you, Prince. Oh yes. Well, wow, it's much easier in here when you deactivate these fans outside. It makes everything easier. Lakashuka. Bam! Suck it hard. Ah, they slow down for you now. Do you see? Do you see? Now those look like penises. Did you see them? Like the mushroom top on top? It's dirty. We're going to be reviewing The Avengers coming up. We've reviewed... All the movies leading up to it. And this is the first one that's going to be directed and written by Joss Whedon. Who I think has been accused of uh, sexual problems. Anyways, I thought it'd be fun to research by... Not the sexual part, but... Oh, fucking shit! Um, watching a bit of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which I've never really seen. So I watched the first episode. Hilarious music. Very 90s punk kind of pop music really like aggressive guitar and drums Sarah Michelle Gellar is so like she has this 
cool vibe about her where she's sort of like she's pretty but seems kind of nerdy she kind of she seems like a nerd or a geek but also seems like the coolest girl around she, yeah she has this thing where she seems like a supermodel masquerading as a uh, a normal person like very interesting person, and like, so smart to cast for that show, obviously. I remember being a kid and thinking, just from magazines, that the Charisma Carpenter brunette was the hottest one. But then when you watch it, you go, actually, Alison Hannigan, who plays the dork, she seems the most, uh, I don't know, just like, more pure kind of beauty, and... There's, there's more, I don't know, more to be attracted to personality-wise as well. Which I guess is her character, right? She's playing the lovable dork. Which Avengers movie is directed by Josh Whedon? The first one. The Avengers! Released after Capitan America. Capitan America. I'm the captain of a whole country. Yeah, the first Iron Man is like Mario 64 where it, it they just nailed the casting, the tone, the balance of CGI with practical effects. Having the suit in the shots feels so good. It makes the suit feel like a character. And they just nailed it. And then Thor, they were kind of experimenting, like, well, how, how fantasy-ish and kind of nerdy can we get with this, or geeky? Incredible Hulk was just a totally different movie, but I thought it was the best one. I thought Incredible Hulk was better than Iron Man 1. And then, um, what else happened? Captain America is so strange, because it's like a very, uh... It's this weird throwback movie, where they, they try to make it seem like a... Like a 19 kind of 40s movie or 1930s movie? It's really strange. It's pretty it's a nice simple movie though. What's that thing that keeps appearing? There it is. I'm gonna go get that. And then oh and Iron Man 2. Yeah, Iron Man 2 is more of Iron Man. But just with way too many plot elements. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in uh this one. It was so strange, like, because in Thor, which is not very good, Natalie Portman plays this sort of bumbling fool. They didn't really know how to write female characters then, other than Black Widow. Yeah, I kept Nerica was fine. It was very, yeah, very solid. It was, Captain America, to me, was extremely competent. It just had it had like an old an old fashioned nineties director, the guy who did Honey I Shrunk the Kids. You know he knows how to make a fun kind of caper. It's a it's a fun adventure. It really doesn't. It still has to. It struggles with the weight of trying to be a Captain America, the first Avengers movie. It just blows my mind that like that movie that they did that. They made it look like a nineties comic book movie while also looking like a 19 kind of 30s 40s movie and they were yeah people are gonna like this this is gonna set up the avengers i think that's the one where they thought let's try to bring in as as much of the mainstream as possible but the action scenes were pretty fun but if anyone hasn't seen the incredible hulk with edward norton i really recommend it it's so good it's not even a lot of uh it's it's this movie that is Barely uses dialogue, too, which is nice. Because what are they going to say in a movie like that? We need the serum, Bruce Banner. I started watching a bit of the Snyder Cut. That movie is insane. It's entertaining, but it is insane. It's like... The thing with Zack Snyder is that he does, he has the aesthetic of a 15-year-old boy. Maybe a 14-year-old boy. He's like, it's gonna be fucking cool. It's gonna be slow-mo. It's gonna be cool. Everything's slow-mo. It's gonna be really cool. 
But then he takes that aesthetic to a f to an intensely like artistic devotion. Like the movie 300. It's going to look like a video game. It's going to be cool. Sparks are going to kick people. And it works. It actually really works. He's, the, he's so unique in uh, how he makes movies. It's pretty amazing. I could not believe how much slow motion there was in the Snyder Cut. I felt like like a third of the time it was in slow-mo. And really dark palettes. There's like a long dream sequence at the end. I was I felt like I was just watching the movie and watching it and watching it and I go, oh my god, there's two and a half hours left in this movie. But at least they because they kind of butchered it. He did his version and then they took it away and they put in um would they brought in like who they bring in? Was it Joss Whedon or Kevin Feige or something? They just went, uh, try to make it more like the Avengers. Try to make it more like a Marvel. Well, and then just it made it like incoherent. Now, now Marvel's kind of calming down a bit and they're, they're exploring TV. And it's working well. There was the uh, WandaVision show. They're doing the Loki show now. And they're just kind of exploring probably how much can we get away with spending on these shows? We can fill in a lot of gaps. Because if you're trying to follow sort of comic books, like you still have to... There's a lot of information you got to get out there. A lot of stories you got to tell. Which when using movies to do it is, is a very ambitious but tough process. That bat is very cute and cuddly. Shuri is T'Challa's sister. She's a really fun genius woman. Got a lot of meme attention. Oh, okay. And they got a good chasing. I'm well, well, I'm going to be watching and reviewing every single Marvel movie, so I'm eventually going to get to Black Panther. Every single one. Fuck. Fucking skull. I got more feathers. Oh, I need to be small to get in that hole. That's another strange thing about this game. He's so tiny. When he goes in the kitchen, he's tiny. Look how low he is. See, like this. This is a cellar. Wait, that used to have a wooden door on it. You go down in the cellar and it looks like a cellar. And they have casks of wine and stuff. And ghosts. Like real cellars. I will kill you, ghost. I did it all for one, two, three, four notes. Not bad. This is a very banjo thing, but what are the jinjos or the jinjos for? Collect five and you get a jiggy. I guess collecting things makes sense because... Alright, you've made this level. Now what? You really want to get the most use out of it, so to do that, have the player... Explore every single part of it. Whereas Mario was more of a... It was like an obstacle course that made use of its jumping physics. This is more of a... Let's just make use of the ambiance to make you explore everything. And we'll have more detail because you're going to be going back and forth a lot. So they worked with what they have. Desecrating a grave. No points for that. Uh-uh. Let me in. Let me in. Oh no, you need to press the switch to get in. That is creepy. Yeah. Huts! Oh, I see. Boof! Yo! Oh, yes. Look at her face. She just wanted to be loved. But she was atypical. Is that so wrong? Is that so wrong? Eat my ass. 
Eat my ass. You silly witch. What's this one for? That. No. No. This one over here, maybe? Yep. A lot of notes in the water when you gator. You there. Like mini golf. Shit. 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 There we go. I hide my haste and shame. My face in shame. Oh, yes. Big reward. Big reward. It's probably a jiggy from last time. There's a ginger. Oh, well, yeah. With this Ano music. It's such a beautiful idea that inside of a turtle, there lives a symphony of turtle rock. We're all the musicians. Well, if you were in a wheelchair, you could roll over his feet. That would bring them to life, and then you could roll up his tongue. But you need ramps to get in between. Unless your wheelchair is okay riding through the poisonous swamp. Infested with Barracuda. Oh, these stairs, yeah. Terrible. I can just imagine there being two politicians, and one is like the typical kind of Republican racist, <laughs> and the other one is a Democrat in a wheelchair. And the Republicans like, we are, I mean, who is this Democratic politician, really? What do they stand for? Pardon. The way the draw distance works, it's like the sprites are these actors, these extras. And they're getting paid to wait there all day. Oh, main character's coming close. Stand up. Wave your arms around, let him see you, so he can collect you. Whoa, two health pieces? We are in. It took me... 640. So I could have just went in there earlier. It took me four hours of stream time to get the notes up. Oh no, did I do Rusty Bucket Bay last time? I cannot remember. Fuck yo! Fuck yo! He's on the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5, the 1! I didn't need to waste all those. Ooh, what a lovely place. There's the 765 door! You're not getting in there. Hmm, the sound effects. The little pitter-patter of his feet. It's a sort of a callback to the first level. 
I mean the fucking house. Nope. Those blasted crannies. I mean the nooks are one thing, but the crannies really. You must find the painting, young Banjo. I don't want to alarm anyone, but I read in the walkthrough that I need to open up that other door that's like a 700 door. So... I got some jiggies. I got 11. We just have to find out where to put it. Ah. Oh, babu, badu, badu, babu. The camera should zoom back to show you where that is. Wouldn't that be nice if I knew where that was, this area that just opened up? You know what I love about the bull being in here? He's like the, probably the only enemy strong enough to get in here. And he has all this grass, you know? He's just, he's in the pasture. It all makes sense! Go, 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 go! Wee! Oh no, this just brings me out, out of it. Which makes sense, actually, with the level design. Okay, but now I'm out here. Now what? Fifteen, I have to go back. The game doesn't even tell you where that is, unless you've it memorized. Watch out, there's an explosive mine. Go back to Gruntilda's lair. Four more jiggies. I don't want to find those. Four more jiggies are needed. Cannot do it now. 